It's so cute. Yay! Oh. I have horrible news. I made a decision. Are we ready for the reveal? Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing a 24 hour work from home office makeover. If you guys don't know, I work from home. I spend 90% of my time in this apartment and I don't have a designated office area. I kind of switch back and forth between my dining table, my couch. I don't really have a designated area to work from home, which don't get me wrong. I love working from my couch. I love working from my dining table, but I thought that it would be so nice to have an area that is designated just for work. I live in a one bedroom apartment. I don't have a room for an office but I do have a little space that I thought I could turn into a little work from home office station so I thought it'd be so fun to try to make myself a little work from home office and I thought it would be extra fun maybe a little stressful to try to do it in 24 hours if you guys have ever watched any of my videos especially any of my home decor videos you know that I am the most indecisive person in the world it takes so long for me to make a decision about purchasing something or how I want to decorate something so I thought that doing it in 24 hours would be a fun challenge for me. I don't know if fun will be the right word, but it will be a challenge because I am so indecisive. I thought before we start this makeover, I could show you guys what I'm currently working with and what I'm planning on doing. Let me show you. I have this empty wall right here. It's pretty close to the entrance of my apartment. Previously before this, I actually had a little cube system that I put my to-do list in. If you guys don't know, I sell to-do lists. They're linked down below. But I actually moved that into my bedroom and I really like where that is now. So it freed up this space and I felt like it was kind of bland, kind of boring. I could obviously move this mirror into the middle of this wall but I thought I might as well make this space functional so I thought this was the perfect space to put a little at-home office my plan for this is to put a big desk here I actually already bought the desk that is the only thing that I've done in advance I'm so excited to show you guys this desk it is going to fit here perfectly This is the desk that I chose. It is from Fazebo. Fazebo is actually sponsoring this video, so thank you so much to Fazebo. I love this desk. This is a standing desk. You guys were actually the ones that gave me the idea to get a standing desk in the first place, and I am over the moon that I got this. I'm realizing now that I probably should have shown me building this before I was 99% of the way done, but this was very simple to build. I built this all by myself. I didn't have help from anyone, and one thing about me is I can't build things, and I built this. This is like a weird way to sit. The instructions are really easy to understand. They're just photos and they have everything labeled and what tools you're supposed to use. I didn't need a drill to build this at all, which is great because I don't own a drill. Everything came super organized and labeled, which was really nice for putting it together. There's also the option that if you want to add wheels to it, you can instead of these little feet. I think I'm going to keep the feet because I don't plan on rolling it around, but if you wanted to add wheels, that is an option. This thing is also extremely sturdy. Like this is well put together. Yay! Now let's put it in its spot. I'm going to plug it in behind this mirror to really help hide the cord. Even though there's a lot of really great like cord management to help hide it. This is such good quality. There's so much space. Ah. So like I said, this desk is from Fazebo. This is the Nature Solid Wood Bamboo Standing Desk. The top is the most beautiful bamboo. Like I think the aesthetic of this is stunning. For reference, in case you guys are wanting to get this desk too, this is it. I will actually have this link down below as well as a coupon code if you guys want to get this desk. Fazebo also has a bunch of different desks. They have L-shaped desks, they have shorter desks, they have longer desks. This is just the one that I chose, but they have plenty to choose from. This is the size of the one that I got for reference. This desk in particular can hold up to 176 pounds. Pounds. That is well over the weight of anything that I would need to set on this. So it is perfect I just can't get over how durable and high quality this is. This is made out of solid bamboo I'm genuinely so impressed that I built this myself I also wanted to mention that I've been looking for a standing desk for a really long time since you guys brought up the idea That I should get one a couple months ago. Fazebo standing desks are at such a great price point They're very affordable compared to a lot of their competitors. I think this would make a really great Christmas present Just saying for anyone that works from home. I think that this is awesome. What I also really love about this. There's plenty of room underneath it. I don't know if you guys have seen all the TikToks of people getting little walking pads and standing desks. I'm kind of considering getting a walking pad now so I can get my steps in while I work. Should we watch it stand up? I'm so excited. So these are all the settings to rise it, to lower it. You can actually make settings for certain heights, which we will do that together, but let's watch it rise. <gasps> what? Look at it. You can see how tall it's going. This is so cool. This is rising really fast and really smooth and it's also really quiet. Like you can hear it rising, but it's not loud by any means. It's still going. Whoa! Oh my 
gosh. So clearly this is too tall for me. Like the highest setting is a little tall for me, but this really shows no matter how tall you are, this could really work for you. For the desk that I got, this is how tall it gets. For reference, I am 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and this is about like, I don't know where I would say to here on me. This is pretty tall. Wait, let's watch it lower. What? This, why am I gonna be doing this all day? Like this is so exciting to me. I have to decorate this. I can't just be playing around with the settings all day, but I want to. So this is where it is at its lowest position compared to me, who is five, 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 six, depending on the day. <laughs> First and foremost, I wanna see if I like sitting position. Like, do I want it a little higher? Imagine me typing. I think I want it a little taller. I think I want it here. Just set the memory positions, adjust the desktop to your desired height. This is my desired height. And then press and hold S until S is shown on your display and then release the button. I'm reading the directions and they also have an anti-collision aspect. So if the desk encounters an obstacle, it will stop until you move the obstacle in its way. That is really nice. I just set the sitting position, but I want to set the standing position. So we're going to rise it to where I think I want it. I'm thinking here. Do we think here? Like imagine me like type, 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 type. Let me get my computer. We're gonna cosplay it. Ah, you know, I think I want it a little higher. I think this is a good height. Okay, let's set the second position. Now let's watch it go back down to the sitting position. See, it's doing it hands-free. It doesn't even need me to hold it. I really like that. I will have this desk from Fazebo linked down below for you guys, as well as the discount code. I highly recommend this. This is amazing. I'm so glad that I decided to get this desk. Now onto the next part, decorating. This is gonna be the cutest new background in all my videos. Like I was saying, this is a 24 hour work from home office makeover. That is a mouthful. We only have 24 hours to do this. So that means today we need to go shopping. And what are we shopping for? Decor. Decor for this desk to make it look like it's a part of my apartment. I thought we could start off by going online and gathering some inspiration images that can help me when I go look for some stuff to decorate this desk with. Let's do it. So I've gathered some inspiration and I think that I have an idea of what I want to do with this desk and how I want to decorate it and make it look like it's really a part of my space. If you guys don't know, decorating means a lot to me. I really love decorating and I want everything to be very meaningful and purposeful in my apartment. I want to be very intentional with how I decorate this, although I only have 24 hours to do it. Let me show you what my vision is. Follow me on Pinterest. He One thing that a lot of these photos have that I don't have is a desktop computer. I don't own a desktop computer. I only have this laptop and I feel like a desktop computer is like such a vibe but like I'm not gonna buy a desktop computer if I'm not gonna use it because that's expensive So here's a little overview of everything that I like. I really liked it when it's simple and neutral I really liked this one. I wanted it to be kind of minimalistic One thing that I really love about this desk is how big it is. There's a lot of depth. It's very long very wide It's really convenient. There's a lot of space I don't want to clutter too much of this with decor, but I want it to look cute at the same time I saw this one right here And I really liked it because I was debating what I want to put above this desk And I really liked this idea of the poster when I'm decorating Decorating this area, one thing that I need to keep in mind is that this desk rises. Obviously, it's a standing desk. So whatever I put here can't go out too far that it hits the desk. So I obviously can't put shelves or anything like that here because it will rise and hit it. I will say that one really nice thing is because of the baseboards, you can see the leg is literally touching the baseboard, but it gives it a little bit of room in between the wall. The desk rises over this light switch right here. The light switch goes out decently far and it doesn't hit it, which is really nice because of that baseboard. So I know for a fact that I can put stuff here and it won't hit it because it doesn't hit this but whatever I put here it can't be too far out and big and I also want it to still look nice when the desk is standing I know that I keep saying this but again we only have 24 hours so whatever I do also cannot be too crazy it can't be too time-consuming that it takes a while to do I also really liked this one right here I kind of liked the little collage of photos I thought that if I found some like minimal pretty flat frames I could also do this or I could do posters I also liked how this one had a bunch of little photos I think the desk is a little too cluttered for my liking personally like I still want to have a lot of space to work I liked this one for what they had on the desk like they had some books that was really cute some flowers they had a lamp I like that it had some stuff but there was still a good amount of space to work this one as well obviously this one is in the middle of the room it's not against a wall like the one that I have but I like that there are some things on it but it's not cluttered I also thought this could be an option the shelves are raised pretty high so even if I did raise the desk it wouldn't touch it if I did raise them that high this post right here made me think that I could use my to-do list and notebooks as 
as decor. I want this space to be really cute and fun and a nice part of my apartment, but I also want it to be functional. That is my number one priority when decorating this area. I think I'm gonna like kind of go around my apartment and pick up some things and kind of see how I feel about them on this desk and maybe we can use some decor that I already own. First and foremost, the most important piece of decor is going to be my laptop, even though it's not decor, but it will be the main character. Do we like that? Turn up. Okay, it's not giving what it needs to give, but you guys understand the idea. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I can get like a giant poster, print something out, and then like tack it to the wall here, or even use command strip. What do we think? I love that I have a desk to do this. One of the inspiration photos that I showed you guys, I think it was the very first one, had like a giant poster above the desk. And I was thinking, what if I got that printed out? Like, what if I got something like that printed out? What if I got two? The only issue is we have that light switch there, there. Can I print out a poster and get it to me in the same day? Same day pickup, 11 by 14. How big is that? I don't know if that's big enough. They also have 16 by 20. But can I do two? I don't know if I can do two. I kind of want to do two. Hmm. This is normally something I would take like two weeks to make a decision on, but I don't have two weeks to make a decision on it. I have the rest of the day. Let me do some thinking, okay? I have great news. I made a decision. I decided that I'm gonna do two of the 11 by, I don't know, I forgot, what was it? 11 by 14, 11 by 14. I think the other ones will just be too crowded. If there wasn't the light switch, I don't think it'd be that crowded, but because there is, I just would rather be smaller than bigger, you know? I was thinking, I was like, well, what do I wanna print out? And then I remembered. Say whatever you want about this. Sometimes when I'm bored, I scroll on Etsy and I like look up like Taylor Swift graphics. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. Fun fact, she's actually like two of my TikToks. So not only does she know that I exist, she knew that I existed twice. Yeah, her and I are basically best friends. And I'm, yeah, like we're, we're really close not really but i really love taylor swift i love her so 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 much she is my whole world anyways when i am bored i do scroll on the internet finding things of her and i have been saving these things just in case i wanted to put them in picture frames on this shelf i have a bunch of empty picture frames on the shelf i should probably fill them while i'm ordering stuff yeah whatever i have two taylor swift themed posters that i think that i want to buy on etsy so they're basically like the digital download and then you can print them off at your store let me show you the vision first okay one thing about this wall is it's a blank white wall but i want to add some color when i say color i mean neutrals i don't mean actual color i like a very bland beige apartment okay it's just who i am i have a busy life and i like a very calm environment and to me neutrals the epitome of calm whatever i get i don't want it to be white on white like i don't want the background of the photos to be white but i want them to be some kind of like neutral color so i found two that i think will work i have this one right here i think i'm really hoping this is not a white background it looks like a kind of cream neutral sweet nothing is from her new album i wouldn't say it's my favorite song on the album but i do really like the song and i think this is really cute i think it's like the most sweet song and i think this is a really cute print the other one is from folklore so this is i've never been a natural all i do is try 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 i love this this is a great song it's one of my favorites i don't know if this is too like sad i'm a little paranoid that if i buy this people who come visit me will see this in my apartment and if they're not taylor swift fans if they're gonna be like are you good and i'm gonna be like no <laughs> duh I like that the background is also like a neutral color. That is the main reason that I like it. I think that I'm gonna buy both of these. Make sure to support small artists, small businesses. So then I'm gonna buy these and then try to buy the posters and hopefully I'll be able to pick them up today. And then we can go shopping for like decor and like kind of stationary stuff for the desk. We have run into a problem. I thought that this was kind of a cream background and not all white. I'm wondering if I could do some like Photoshop it. I don't even know if I'm capable of doing that. You guys are rising, I'm sure you could tell. And now I'm standing at my desk. I just got the photos printed. I actually saved a good amount of money. It was supposed to be $26, but I found a coupon and I only paid 11, so. I'm thriving right now. So the prints won't be ready for another hour to an hour and a half. So I thought in the meantime, I can make some lunch because I'm low key getting hungry. And then we can go run some errands and try to find some decor and stationery to make this desk beautiful and functional. Let's do it. I found this recipe on TikTok and it looked really good, but then I made it and it wasn't so good, but I already made it and paid for all the ingredients. So I'm just gonna keep eating it, even though I kind of think it's disgusting. <laughs> 
and we're gonna eat it at my dining room table that is no longer my office. Ah, I can finally eat food here without clutter. I love this thing. We are here at the store. I put on a sweatshirt because I thought I'd be cold. Let's go get some decor. And obviously I was listening to Midnight's the entire way here. I'm so predictable. They have their Christmas stuff out and it's taking everything in me not to go Christmas shopping right now. But we are in the home stationery aisle. This is a monitor stand. I obviously don't have a monitor, but it is cute. It doesn't work. Never mind. These are kind of cute. I don't know if it's like the aesthetic I'm going for. It's a letter sorter. I don't have letters though. <laughs> this is kind of cute. It's a little glass desktop easel with gold accents. It looks like you can like write on it. That's kind of cute. They also have a ton of these cork boards, which I saw a lot of these in my Pinterest inspiration. They also I just dropped something. They also have this, which I think could be cute for like little pens. Yeah, we'll get it. So I am now in all the Christmas stuff and it is really cute. I mean, we'll look at it. We don't have to buy it. We can always look, it's so cute. Like, look at this. This is so cute. The little reindeer, you're kidding me. You're done. Oh, they're here. Okay, story time about these lamps. I saw them at Target about a month ago and I really liked them, but I was like, I don't know if they're too expensive. I'll think about them. I thought about them and I was like, okay, I want them. So I went to another Target. They didn't have them, but this Target has them. Anyways, a lot of the inspiration photos that I found on Pinterest had a lamp on the desk. So I thought I could try these lamps out, put one on the desk and see if I like it. If I don't, I'll put it on my nightstand, but I think I'm gonna get both. And then if I don't want both, just return them, keep them. Anyways, I'm gonna get both and then return one or both if I don't like it. But I've been thinking about them for a while. so. I'm finally getting them. I need to find more decor and stationary stuff for the desk. It's hard because all the stuff they have out right now is Christmas stuff, which I love. And I wanna decorate it for Christmas, but I think I need to decorate it for something that I can keep it year round and then add little things for Christmas and not just solely decorate it for Christmas because then once Christmas is over, it's like, okay, now what? This is what we have so far. Okay, now we're back in the stationary aisle. <laughs> Who left those there? I think what's also hard is with my job, I just need my computer and a hard drive. I don't need like file folders or paper or printers, things like that. So a lot of the decor stuff is like for paper, which I don't really need. And I don't wanna buy anything that's wasteful. I want it to be functional but cute emphasis on the cute so i kind of am like do i even need this little like pen organizer thing i mean i still use pens for my to-do list so i mean i can always return things that's what i'm telling myself i'm in the bathroom section and i'm like wow should i redecorate my bathroom no no you should not even though you want to you should not i was going to say this candle would be so cute for the desk but who pays 30 dollars for a candle but i'm looking for frames for those posters they don't have any that are the right size but i found this and i think this could be really cute i like that it's like two-toned and it's pretty big we'll add this to the cart i know that i need to focus on the desk but i found this gingerbread man and i thought it was so cute for my coffee table <laughs> you'll see the vision i'll show it to you guys i think this is all that i'm going to get i'm in the children's toy section there's just people everywhere but i'm gonna scan everything first to make sure there's no like coupons or deals because the christmas stuff they just don't have that much decor i think we're gonna go for plan a which was using stuff I already own and try to like repurpose it in a different way so we'll see how that goes i just realized i forgot to get the prints ah! whatever should we kind of decorate the desk a little bit and then we can go pick up the prints because i just i just got here two seconds ago like i kind of have to pee i just walked in i didn't even have time you know what i say let's do a little decorating quickly and then we'll go pick up the prints and i'll kind of like chef's kiss finish it all off. I'm gonna move the chair out of the way so we can look at it better. This is what we're starting with. We obviously have the lamp. And again, always return if I need to. Do we think it's cuter here? Huh, it's kind of shorter than I thought. Or I think I like that better. I don't know, it's just not nearly as tall as I thought it was going to be. I have an idea. First and foremost, my idea is to take this sweatshirt off because I'm sweating. I have these coffee table books and I thought maybe I could stack the lamp on these it'll give it some height and like add some dimension to it that's cute i think that's really cute okay obsessed with her obviously we'll plug it in there's an outlet behind the mirror so that will work perfect okay next up i have this picture frame mm, i don't know we have this i think i might unbox it oh this is super cute it's like a little whiteboard here Everything is just so short. Like this is pretty short. I have this, but taller. 
I'm afraid this might be too tall. No, I think it worked really well. Do I want to add this as well or is that just like too much? Like, do we think like the three is too much? We also have the candle. You know, I think this might be, I really like this. Like I genuinely want to add this. I just think it's too much. We also have a little pen holder. I was thinking maybe like right here, we could put the little pen holder. This is coming together pretty well. Yeah, this is adorable. I really like this. Let me give you a little up close and personal look. I think this is adorable. Obviously we'll take the tags off of this, but I really like that this adds some dimension here and like some more color. We have the pens, my to-do list, laptop, obviously. This will be super nice to like write down ideas. I don't know, brainstorm. I have my candle here. This is a local company. They are made out of wine or beer bottles and they're repurposed into candles. So it's great for sustainability. And then I have this and I like that that covers the light switch so this is what we're looking at now let's look at it standing okay and then it all rises really well nothing's like getting caught on the wall no obstacles i really like this oh this is so cute imagine me just like doo -doo 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 -doo. so cute next up we need to add the pictures to the wall we're gonna go pick those up but then after that i'm like did we just decorate this in less than 24 hours did i do that wait it's not ready yet <laughs> much better oh wait that's really cute oh i love this should i write something this isn't my best handwriting. And now we go back out into the world to get the prints. Let's go again. Yes, it's for Keegan. The last name's Acton. It's like one of the bigger prints. Oh, okay. I have horrible news. They said their poster machine is broken and they canceled my order. So I'm going to go home and try to order it from another place. I don't know. Hopefully that it will be processed in time before the end of the day. A little unexpected activity in, in our 24 hour. It's been a few hours. I went to another location and I got the prints. The only thing I've done in the meantime is clean up this little whiteboard and then I added a light bulb to the lamp. Time for the unveiling. <gasps> Remember how I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm like talented enough to change the background on this photo. It turns out I was. I'm just like a really talented person. What can I say? I'm just kidding. Stunning. They're a little bit more like pinky. Oh, it looks like there's like still like a little bit of color from whoever printed something before me. Wait, no, I love that. I don't love this. Like you can kind of see that. Will it bother me? I'm going to hope it won't. Okay, let's hang these up. I'm going to use blue painter's tape. I really hope this works. Let's kind of position them where we want them. I'm thinking like here. Wait, why do I love that? Ah! Did you see that fall? Almost put it in upside down. Oh. Okay, that's not straight. That is crooked. Are you guys ready for the full reveal? I haven't even like looked at it yet. Like I'm kind of avoiding it. Okay, I'm gonna look at it first and then you'll look at it. I need to close that, but whatever. Ready? One, two, three, I'm gonna look at it. It's so cute. Oh, I love this. This is from the lamp. We'll pick it up later. Okay, are we ready for the reveal? One, two, three. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at how good this looks. You know what's actually really weird? I used the same hex code from this background to do this background and this looks more pink. They're not identical even though they're the same hex code. Kind of weird. I love this. Pardon me feels like it's like underwhelming on camera, but in person, she's the moment. Wait. Let's watch it rise. Oh, perfect. It's not even like touching the posters. Oh wait, I love that. You can still kind of see the posters. Ah! I am so excited to have my own work from home desk. This is all mine. Let me quickly show you where everything is from. The desk, obviously, Fazebo. This chair is from Ikea, Target, Amazon, Amazon, Target, 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 Wine Wicks, Amazon, Walgreens, <laughs> Apple. <laughs> and this is my to-do list. They'll be linked in the description. I made them myself and they're incredible. Let's do a before and after. Once again, thank you so much to Fazebo for sponsoring this video. I will have this desk link down below as well as discount code, get it. Like literally if you're wanting a desk, get this standing desk. It is incredible. I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys liked this little makeover transformation. Let me know if you want me to do more of these and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm gonna sit at my desk now.